Here, we'll fix two broken fans on this APW9 power supply unit. Warning, this is an advanced tutorial. Don't attempt to fix a power supply unit if you don't have proper training or safety equipment. To easily diagnose which fan is broken, you can plug each power cable separately. On a working unit, the lower socket powers fan 1 and 3, while the top socket powers fan 2. The voltage across the 6-pin connector of the unit should read 12.3 volts. The positive probe of the multimeter should touch any of the bottom pins, and the negative probe should touch the pin above it. In this case, we're reading 12.3 volts. This confirms the fan spin issue is due to hardware failure. Fan 1 and 3 are broken, we're going to have to replace them. The fans are held in place by four panhead Phillips screws that also hold the fan grills. We also have to remove all the flathead Phillips screws from the sides of the unit. After unscrewing them, we can carefully remove the hood of the PSU. We then follow the leads of the broken fans all the way up to their connectors. The connectors are wrapped in shrink tubing and glued with silicon. We can cut away some of the silicon to clear up the connectors. Take note of the default cable management while unplugging the longer fan leads. We're going to feed the new fan leads following the same path to plug them into the same connectors. When inserting the new fans into the unit, make sure they're in the correct orientation. The arrow on the fan should point inside the PSU. Fans suck cold air inside the unit, which dissipates out the back vents as hot air. We can then screw the fan grills back up and close our power supply unit. Consider subscribing to the channel for more PSU repair videos.